and, and it's true, when we got into post-production on the picture, we, we had enough, well, before I say that, I will say, on the day, Ken realized before lunch that all of this was gonna happen. And the writer, Barry Sandler, and the actor, Anthony Perkins, had been conspiring. When, when Anthony got offered the role, in order to meet Ken Russell and play the street pe preacher, he wanted this so bad, even though he was already Anthony Perkins, he wanted to make sure that after he met Ken, no one else would be considered and he would lock it up on meeting. He went to a woodworking shop and he made a little step stool, which he then himself hand sanded, took newspaper clippings of really peculiar stories, really avant-garde peculiar stories about street people and prostitution and ministries and, and put them all in a montage on the step stool and then varnished it. And then he brought this into the audition and when he did his reading for Ken, he stood on it. I mean, he was totally committed to the part. So he was so committed to it that he and Barry had come up with this notion of a very small animal that should be used. Uh, it was like a little dog or something. And Ken was in his right mind for every decision he had made on the show as far as this producer's concerned, except for the one argument we got into over sound. So he had been telling me that he's having a real problem with Barry. B B Barry won't stop suggesting that we have a little dog on. And you couldn't meet a better writer, someone who cared more, someone who was more committed someone who would go the extra length than Mr. Barry Sandler, one, one of the finest people to ever walk the face of the earth. But on this issue, he was not embracing what Ken was trying to explain to him about the production logistics of introducing an animal into a show with a restricted budget and a restricted schedule. So try as he may, he's starting to get double teamed from Anthony Perkins and Barry on the, on the point. So Ken says to me, uh, on, on, the, on the bad day that we're going over, and he already knows by lunchtime that this is going to happen. He says, since I've put myself in a bad mood, I found a way that I can cheer myself up and solve a problem I'm having at the same time. He says, you say that you're a good producer. Can you actually produce a monkey to be on this set in three hours? I said, you're talking to the guy that produced the Beastmaster. I know all the top animal handlers in town. I mean, they're, they're, yeah, but what's, what's the deal? He says, I have something in mind. He says, but I'm going to need a monkey to do it, and the monkey is going to have to be wearing a diaper. I said, okay, what's up, Ken? He says, I'm, I'm going to tell Barry that I not only love his idea for the dog, I've seen a better way to do it. The preacher will have a monkey <laughs> and he'll be wearing a diaper and he'll always be carrying the monkey and the diaper everywhere he goes. And, and, and I'm with the fabulous Linda Francis, who's the casting director, who never comes to the set, but it's a Ken Russell movie. So she's on the set as much as she possibly can and, and she's sharing lunch with us that day. So she asks for an invitation to stay for the rest of the afternoon to watch the cat casting session and, and she had, and, and she makes her argument because she doesn't want to miss this she makes her argument she goes well if you're going to cast a monkey and i'm your casting director i need to be here so we're in ken's winnebago with linda francis the animal trainer a monkey wearing a diaper barry sandler and me barry is ambushed he has no idea why he's brought into the trailer so it's good news barry Love your idea for a dog so much, we're going to have it be with a monkey. But I just want to make sure I have it right. So, and it's all set up, the monkey is a very smart monkey. And the, and the animal, or animal handler has followed Ken's instruction on prepping the monkey. And the monkey is smart enough to know that the next person who holds him and reads from a script, he's supposed to try and pull his nose. <laughs> so Barry's holding this monkey, doing the... Uh, the, the Anthony Perkins part, and, and, and he's making this strong argument that even if we go this way, he can't be wearing a diaper. Ken's, well, I, I wouldn't want Anthony Perkins to be soiled. We couldn't ask a top actor like Anthony Perkins to do that. So <laughs> Barry's holding the monkey, and that damn monkey's just trying to pull his face off. Barry's trying to get through it, and by the end of it, God bless Barry, who's an individual I love. 
He's crying. The man's been brought to tears. Please, Ken, no animals in the movie. Please, no animals in the movie. It made our day there worthwhile. 